Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to my Space Engineers series. Now, we have Lord Fury with us today. He is being a lazy blob, sleeping on the job in the air. Oh, he's shaking his head no. That is actually pretty good. Anyway, we are, for a change, actually in a creative world. We are building a ship for one of Blob's friends. And this is the hangar bay of this ship. I'm going to be giving you a quick little tour, and then I'm going to be talking about the update from last week. It's a pretty cool update, but yes, here we are. These are three little ships that uh, Lord Fury designed. This is um, its a medium fighter. It's got some pretty cool weaponry on it. Um, these t cannons here will just tear things up like nobody's business. And this, uh, is this a sniper turret? Um, medium turret. Uh, small turret. Keen small turret. Keen small turret. Okay. Well, this thing also does work. It will take out, uh, like, enemy Gatling turrets in a single shot. And then up here we have these little shuttles. Uh, I'm pretty sure he also has them equipped for, uh, working as a drone, right? I think I yep. see... Yeah. Yes, Cameras you do. Yeah. So that's all well and good. And we have, of course, the airtight hangar door, because this ship will be pressurized when it is fully constructed. You'll see that it's, uh, well, it's come a long way since we first started on it. It still has quite a bit of work to do. But we have this button panel in the back. We're going to open up the hangar doors, and we're going to see what else we have waiting for us outside. I really love the animation for these doors. I'm just going to go up to the bridge and uh, work on something up there. Okay, that's actually kind of the direction I'm going. We're in the front of the ship here in this hangar bay, so when I come out, you'll be able to see the... Oh, thank you for closing that. You did close that, didn't you? Or did it just... Yeah. It's not haunted? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to back up a little bit here. This is the overall design of the front end of the ship. I can... Uh, Kind of zoom out a little bit. I really love how this turned out. Um, not exactly how I pictured it. Hey, where are you going, Blob? Get back to work. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, my skin's glitched out. I need to go change it. Oh, he needs to go shed his skin. He molts, apparently. Um, yep. Here we have... Uh, what are these exactly? I don't remember the name. They are carbon ion thrusters. They are a very powerful small thruster. They take up the same amount of space as your normal thruster... But I'm pretty sure they do two to three the t two to three times the the thrust output from your native thruster, and of course they have that nice sloped shape. All right, we're heading up to the bridge. We're looking in from the outside. I really like this. This is from the AIS bridge. They have some pretty interesting windows. If you guys want to check that out, what skin are you using? Uh, Severus, I think. Oh. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, haven't used that one in a while. But I'm going to hop on down here. And here we have a little fancy button and staircase that we're going to talk about a little more briefly in a little bit here. And here's the bridge. I love the mood lighting, Lord of Fury. It's quite nice. We've got some dual seating. We've got some panels up there. And yeah, it's a it's a lovely view, a lovely view. Oh, I'm like glitching through the glass a little bit. And of course, this is a little viewing deck. You can take a look out at the the vast expanse of space and dream of what could have been. Am I allowed to come up? You can come up, Blob. Yay! Oh, you're no Not longer Blob. blob. You're, you're glitching around like nobody's business. Australia. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> but here we are this little button pedestal. These are retractable stairs, and when that button is pressed, they will fold back up. Well, not fold really, just retract back in. And then all you have to do with the press of a button, if you want to re-extend them, is you just hit that button, and they will slide back out. And of course, this is just a toggle um, closed open on both of these pedestals, so you, you, you have both features on whatever panel you are. What happens if I just hit it halfway? Yeah! All right, I'm getting distracted. Very really stupid stuff. But yes, we're gonna head topside, and we're gonna take a look at about what's going on on the top. Lord Fury, you know where to go. Yep. Now we have all. Um, this is a cargo ship. Um, 
actually, I should I should show them the cargo bay really quick. It's a pretty nice cargo bay. Cargo bay, cargo bay. I like this these catwalks. Really nice touch. Here we are in the cargo bay. All right, so here we have a lot of our gyroscopes. We've got four oxygen tanks for all of your breathing needs. Um, plenty of lighting. We have a lot of cargo containers here. A big giant ass one right here in the center. And yeah, pretty much plenty of cargo space for whatever you plan on carrying. And we plan on adding another cargo bay in the back. Um, it's not in place yet, but it will be by the time we're done. Um, probably just space for, you know, maybe four or so small cargo containers. Nothing too fancy. And, again, plenty of oxygen storage. So I'm going to head back this way. And up these stairs. Alright, heading up to the top. Alright, well let's go ahead and check out some of these windows we have up here on this cargo ship. And, alright, Lord Fury, go ahead and open up these windows. We've got some of these windows on the top, and we've got some windows on the side there. Are those opening? Yes, they are. I see them sliding. And, of course, that block, on the, the one on the, um, the port side, is not on the starboard just yet. But, yeah, here it is, and now we have this wide open space. I can't actually see down there, but I'm sure Lord Fury's down there just looking up at me just with envy because I'm up here and he's not. He's stuck inside of the <laughs> the loins of the cargo vessel to do its bidding. So mean to me. It beats me every week. <laughs> maybe I do. Maybe I don't. You'll never know. So that's all well and good. And we have another set of doors up here. And uh, this one's a little bit bigger. And to uh, Lord Fear, if you want to go ahead and open this set up, we're going to see... And I'm just like, glitching into some blocks right now. Oh, what do we have here? Is this really a cargo ship? I'm starting to think not. Look at the size of that giant-ass cannon. Ah, I'm stuck inside this block. Okay, there we go. I'm unstuck. But no, this is a really, really big cannon. And not only that... But we also have all sorts of these broadside cannons on the side. They are incredibly powerful. And there we go, Lord Fury is lowering it. We have this set up to a button panel. I'll show you in a second. And we're using a, we're utilizing a button panel, um, the groups for all these doors, and we have a timer block to you know coordinate it. And it's actually quite awesome. So really, just these doors with the cover, with the windows, is just kind of help hide the fact that there's a giant ass turret waiting to uh, fuck your shit up and uh, yeah but no here we go these are the uh, close up look of these um, fancy smancy broadside cannons they are quite powerful we're going to demonstrate on my uh, my frigate out there that I love to talk about all the time <laughs> You're going to see exactly what it does to it. Don't you snicker, Blob. And here, down here we have the panel I have mentioned earlier. Um, I actually had it mirrored on the other side. We've got some uh, passenger seats for the crew that's going to be manning this area. And we've got a toggle off and on for the left broadside, right broadside. And this is the turret go. This is what will activate the turret and raise it up when you push this. So if I push this now, the the hangar doors will open up, and the turret will rise up. And it looks like it clips it, but uh, it's just kind of how the, the hitbox works, I guess. It's not actually there. And, <laughs> Lord Fury, we, we position this perfectly. It's, like, almost seamless with the armor up here. Couldn't it be any better, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, Not bad. And anyway. Ah! I keep glitching inside of blocks. And then when you want to go bring it back down, you just hit this button right here. Micro timer 3. I guess we need to change that. But point is, it I works. I it twice, but it just doesn't change on the button. Oh. Okay. 
Well, anyway, when you do that, it'll just do the exact opposite. The turret will start to go down, and then the doors will come over the top and seal it in. Can't so, believe it's actually working. <laughs> oh, it works fine. We figured out the mistakes that we were having. And this is the back of the ship. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this, but um, this is actually where that second cargo bay is going to be that I was mentioning. I'm kind of considering basing the... Um, oxygen systems out of this place, but I already have four tanks up front, and that's, that's pretty substantial. But all of you are probably wondering, oh, by the way, this is the uh, little midsection, this is what connects the, uh, this little utility area, this is probably also going to be some crew quarters up here and the bridge, this is what connects that to the, uh, the weapons room, <laughs> and this, the, the, the hidden weaponry and stuff is why I was like looking down when I was walking over to the cargo bay earlier. I was keeping the secret. Shh. Speaking of secret, um, if you want to test out the broadsides, if you want to go over to your ship, I can start them firing. I was actually just about to bring that up, and it would be the starboard side. Yeah, we're going to give you a little demonstration as to the power of these broadside cannons. I know for a fact that each one of these can... Uh, break a single a heavy armor block in a single shot and this ship of mine I know I've just kind of uh, shown you guys this before but it's not just a single heavy armor block thick it is several blocks thick I mean just pull out a uh, heavy armor block really quick so I can just replace it but I'm just peeling through the armor and then there's that okay so right there it's two blocks thick but that's about as soon as it gets even the bottom has a decent amount of armor but we're going to see exactly what that devastating broadside is going to do to this uh, pretty well-armored ship. Alright, you can go ahead and fire it up. I love this ship. You'll never take this ship from me. You I hear me? I hate that ship, man. No, you don't. Take that... Oh my goodness! And then you see that? Oh, wow, it's beautiful. And, uh... Yeah, it already punched through some of the armor. It's actually still relatively intact, and it's just picking off all of the key targets and shooting at an antenna right now, and actually punched all the way through and got the antenna behind it as well. Oh, now it's That's firing at the heart of the ship. Yeah, it's going for the reactors now. Let's see this. I'm actually going to go inside if there's anything left. Oh, there's a secondary Ooh. explosions. Oh man, it's just, it's cleaning through now. That looks just, nasty. It is nasty in here. <laughs> they, they completely destroyed one of the reactors. It's so awesome watching those come in. Oh, the other reactor's been disabled. It's leaking the, uh, the green smoke. But yeah, uh, most ships that you come across won't be, uh, this heavily armored. This is, uh, quite heavy. And light armor, it'll just punch right through it like tissue paper. Not even kidding. But yeah. I think we can call that a kill. I'm just sitting here in the observation room. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been dead. It took out both reactors a couple volleys ago. So it's it's dead in the water as it sits right now. Although, if you go inside... Yeah. Yeah. It's still relatively intact-ish, although as, as I say that, some more of those shells were straight through the hull. <laughs> it's like being in the Normandy. <laughs> ah! Oh, this is beautiful. Can't wait till we get the um, concealment set up. Yes, and that brings me to my next point I'm going to make. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. We've seen enough. I want to see this volley hit. Oh, this is so awesome. Anyway, I'm going to delete that beautiful. Alright, I'm going to head back. These broadside cannons, while we're not currently hitting, but we're going to be using a similar idea. Um, we're going to have the doors slide across it. And the original idea, instead of these windows that we have here, we were going to use oxygen farms, thinking that, you know, it'll be actually serve our purpose. We open them up, we'll make oxygen, but as it turns out, since, um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open this up really quick and show them this. So if I take a block and 
mouse over this, you see that that uh, actually let's turn off uh, that. You see that that red box covers over that entire area. What we found out is having these oxygen farms covered over by that, even if they're open, that hitbox will stop the sunlight and they will actually won't produce anything. So if you're planning on making a ship like that, oh, you're going to delete some blocks for me. Awesome. I'll just show them instead of talking about it. What a, a man. Oh, you got this. All right, yeah, so what he's done, he's, he has set one up there without the... Um, the large, the air, air, the airtight hangar door blocking it, and as you can see, it's completely lit up. It is at very, probably max efficiency or close to it. And this other one being blocked by that door, it's just, uh, it's not doing anything. And uh, uh, Fury, if you would, uh, where are you? Yo, I'm next to you. Oh, do you want to? I don't have the uh, large. I don't have that door. Oh. And then when he does that, and you knew what I meant. You see, the, it just starts going back down because it's blocked. Because apparently, this is not getting sunlight. It's totally getting sunlight, but it's not. So, uh, yeah, that'd be something kind of nice to uh, have fixed. Nudge, nudge, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just really annoyed me earlier when I found that out. It did. He was very annoyed. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... By the way, this ship will be finished probably within a week's time. The date today... What is the date today? It is the, the 25th. 25th. It is the 25th of April. Um, the end of next week, so next Saturday. By the time I release my next Space Engineers video, we should... I'm not going to promise anything, but we should have this ship completed. We do have a fair bit left to do. Um, I have to add in the oxygen system. And, yeah. but uh, and Because he hates Australians, he won't release it for Australians until Sunday. You're not Australian. We've been over this so many times. You're not Australian. Does he sound Australian? <laughs> Say um... yes or no in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this will be on the workshop for you guys once this is completed, and I'm sure we'll be making little tweaks to it after that. So we'll keep it updated a little bit. And, uh, by the way, my that ship that you saw getting shot up, that's also on the workshop. Um, I have a collection on uh, Steam I can link to in the description. Some of the mods that you'll need to actually use that ship are going to be in there. And yeah, until next time, this is Ryan from Stromboli Games, signing off.